DC Water had a lot of goals to achieve with this project. Unlike most of their projects, which are driven by new regulations, this was actually a project that they wanted to do because it would save money, it was an environmentally friendly project. They wanted to do digestion, but to do a conventional digestion project proved to be unaffordable. So we had a challenge. How can we do digestion that unlocks this energy potential from a resource that we already have here when we have limited space? So working with some of the best private companies in the world and some of the best private universities, we did choose thermohydrolysis. We take the biosolid and we put it into a very consistent paste. Thermohydrolysis heats up that material to very high temperature and pressure so that when it's released, the cell walls burst. Then you put it into a digester and all those little bugs that generate methane can right at the food really fast and really efficiently. Thermal hydrolysis allowed the facility to be built much smaller and at a much more affordable price. However, this is now the largest such facility in the world as well as the first in the United States. So there were scale up factors. It was up to us to bring together the details to really make it work, to find all the challenges and to deliver it within a fixed price. When the owner gives us the freedom to innovate up front, we're able to come up with ideas that ultimately save the owner money in design, construction, and long-term operations. We had to come up with some innovative ways to save time on the schedule. We were looking at double shifts, working around the clock for construction. We started looking at the digester building because that digester building has over 10,000 man hours of mechanical labor inside. So I said, well, what if we move it below grade? We move it to be at the same elevation as the bottom of the digester. It allows us to start the construction at the same time as the digester, which basically gives us an extra year inside that building to do the construction. Bottom line is we're judged by how we perform, and this project is allowing us to deliver environmental, carbon footprint, financial benefits on every front that's really remarkable. And all three of those make this one of the best things we've ever done at DC Water. DC Water is seeing a number of benefits from this project. They've reduced their trucking of biosolids by about 50%. They're now producing what is called a Class A biosolid. They're generating about one third of the electricity that the plant uses in any given day. It's had a great impact on their carbon footprint. They've reduced their greenhouse gas emissions by 40%. I'm very proud of this project on a number of scales. One is just the sheer magnitude and the complexity of this project and that it's operating very well. 